All right, folks, thank you for checking out this tutorial. This is actually an excerpt from our class in Affinity Photo, which teaches you how to do mockups. So if you like this lesson and you want to learn more about mockups, go ahead and check out the link below for a special discount for being a YouTube viewer. All right, let's go ahead and get with the learning. Alright folks, welcome back to Affinity. So, in this lecture, we're going to show you how to make a really simple volumetric light. And again, we're going to practice perspective. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So, what I'm going to do here, we're going to create a window. Okay, now, you see how that drew inside of the mask? Pull that thing out, bring it up large and in charge. It doesn't really matter, just something around this size. Alright, so this is the rectangle shape, right? We're going to come in now and I'm going to create another skinny rectangle. All right. And we're going to move it right about here. Let's go ahead and increase that just a little bit. All right. Move it to the center of this thing roughly. Now, notice the rectangle and the rectangle. I want you to hold shift, select them both, and let's perform a subtraction operation. Boom, just like that. Now, let's go ahead and do that one more time now. This time, we're gonna create this rectangle. We're gonna right click and we're gonna duplicate. Oops, Control Z. Make sure you got the rectangle in the Move tool. Hey, that helps. Okay, and you're just gonna place these two rectangles roughly here. Now watch this, rectangle above the curve, select the rectangle first, hold control, subtract. Rectangle first, hold control, subtract. All right, just like that. Now let's go ahead and go select, deselect, I don't know why we got selection in there. All right, so what this is gonna do, it's gonna create the window. Now to do this, we're gonna right click and we're going to rasterize it. So it's gonna to cease to be a curve. Notice it just changed to a pixel layer. Now, let's go ahead, right click. Let's duplicate this. Okay. So the way that we're gonna do the volumetric light, we're gonna select them both. I'm going to hold control. I'm gonna shrink them down there. All right, now this lower one, Let's add a Gaussian blur filter. So filter, blur, you can call it Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur, don't really care. All right, and we're going to expand that out quite a ways. And the reason that we made this smaller is because if it touches the side of this pixel, it'll cut it off. We don't want that. Let's see if we can't click in there and go up to 130. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, let's go to this one. Oh, come on. All right. And apply. All right. Make sure you apply it. I didn't apply it. My bad. Now, let's do the same thing. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. But we're going to turn this one down. You see how that creates that effect there? All right. We want it to be blurred, but just not as crazy as the other one. Okay, I think we're pretty good at about 25 pixels. And apply. All right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to select them both. We're going to group them. And watch this. We're going to go ahead and rasterize it. Boom. We now have window light. Because we're doing mock-ups, let's call it window light. All right. Now with the window light, let's go ahead and rotate it. Something like this. Now, it depends. It's totally up to you where you want to put this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place it to where it's rotated right around the center of this thing. And remember, we have this pixel layer here. So you really want to kind of align it with that because you want the lightest piece to be over the poster. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring it up a little bit here. 
and I'm going to rotate it a little. Now, remember what we're trying to do with this mock-up? I'm trying to teach you perspective warp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch that out. And now I'm going to add in perspective. Okay. Now notice what I'm doing here. I'm going to shrink that thing down a little bit. And I'm going to blow this a little bit up. And you see how I'm using that side to kind of do it? I'm following roughly the perspective of this image. So we're actually going to do a pretty darn close job here. And I kind of like that. Okay, that's actually going to be pretty cool. So you see how I'm lining up with this pixel layer? If I turn that off and turn this on, I'm dark, I'm dark, I'm light. Okay, cool. So that's a start. Let's go ahead and close that out. Now, this looks like hot trash, right? So let's go ahead and make it maybe soft light. Now, it's totally up to you what blend mode you really like, right? You can go ahead and shop it around there. The one that I'm going to use, the one that I have a lot of success using, I really like doing the soft light. Okay. Now, if you really wanted to kick the intensity up a little bit on this, watch this. Right click, and let's go ahead and duplicate. You can always bring it up again. And now watch what we can do here. We can take this one down a little notch there if it's a little bit too bright. So I think that that's actually pretty awesome. So I'm good duplicating that. I really like the look that that gives. All right. So the last thing that I would probably do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw in a little vignette. Now, this is not part of mock-up, right? But you can come through with the HSL adjustment and you can go through and adjust it however you want to adjust it to make it look the way that you want it to look. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crank that down a little bit here somewhere right about in here. I think that that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and not make it so saturized. That'll work. And let's go ahead and go layer, live filter layer, color, vignette. Now I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and bring that overall. And now we're just gonna go ahead and drop this. This is not part of the mock-up, so to speak, but I really like it for the effect that it gives there. All right, that is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and call this one here. What you learn in just the two lessons that we were able to do, we actually created a volumetric style reflection that came out of the window, let's say, and we taught you about perspective in two different ways. So hope you learned a little bit about this. Hope you learned a little bit about how to do a simple mock-up. Remember, we are teaching you the techniques that you're going to need when we go full on mock-up. All right, let's go ahead, call it on this one, and let's get into the next one.